everybody, it's me Pemsi from Yuong and I am back from Brussels, Belgium where I went for the uh, Faces to Hearts vlogging competition and the following uh, two days after our arrival was more about introduction on European Union because even though we were selected by EU, a lot of us had no idea what the EU is all about. For me personally, the only thing I know about EU is that the British really want to leave it. And uh, I don't think moving forward with just that information is good. The introduction session on the EU, which was then followed by training. And uh, the training involved not just uh, the kind of format they wanted for, uh, from the vloggers, but also the kind of technical know-how you need to be familiar with. For example, just because you're interested in vlogging doesn't mean you submit a very shaky, amateurish kind of video. There's a lot of structure involved. There's a lot of, um, there's a little bit of that skill, that know-how on how you need your framing to be. And uh, the most important thing, the angle of your story. What story are you um, planning on telling. Uh, that was quite refreshing because it was quite interesting to know that there's a lot of journalistic um, skills involved even in vlogging even though it's very new and there's a lot of flexibility and freshness in vlogging there's still a little bit of professionalism that you have to be mindful of. I have uh, Christina from Romania who will be coming to Bhutan next year uh, in April and we will be going around the country documenting uh, not just the work that's been done in support by the EU in Bhutan, but also the impact. There are currently eight projects that are supported by the EU in Bhutan, and that's in disaster management, civil society, sustainable development, uh, agriculture, and so much more. We were also invited to the European Development Days. Hi guys, we are here at the European Development Days 2019. And uh, okay, what is the EDD here in Brussels? It is a convention that uh, brings together different developmental countries that have been supported by the EU on one platform to address not just you know issues that are uh, that individual countries are facing, but also share ideas and inspire partnerships uh, on this platform. And uh, this year's overarching title is addressing inequalities, creating a world where no one is left behind. Another really um, awesome thing, awesome highlight um, during my trip was getting to meet Nas daily. And uh, if you are very active on Facebook, you will definitely have seen his videos. He is the famous one minute guy. One thing that he said during his session at the EDD really resonated with me. He spoke about how we need to focus on understanding how to live our life instead of just surviving it. And I thought that was really powerful, um, especially at a time when our goal and our uh, our dream in life is very one-dimensional. And another amazing highlight opportunity I received to speak to the Prime Minister of Bhutan and it was all thanks to the Ambassador of Bhutan to Belgium, Kutsapya Machudin. Um, this is quite the surprise but right now I'm on my way to the Embassy of Bhutan in Belgium and embassy, embassy, Ambassador's residence. Oh sorry, Ambassador's yes, embassy residence. Side, yeah. Oh Embassy's sorry. that side. Yeah. Uh, will we be going back uh, there? No. No? Oh. Maybe if you want to but late. Evening. Oh less, less, less. So we have our Bhutanese people living in Belgium, working at the embassy. Please say hello now. <laughs> hello, I'm Karma. Hi, I'm Tama. What do you do here, La Madam? I, I'm the finance counselor here. Hey, yeah, last, 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 last. And so, what do you do here? I, I work for the embassy. In relation to the EU and Bhutan started way back in the early 1980s at the 182 side with a small project based assistance from the EU. And then uh, that slowly grew up to now uh, uh, very close to 100 uh, million euros project. Uh, and the EU now is one of the three major bilateral donors of Bhutan. So it has grown uh, a lot. And it's grown a lot uh, mainly because of trust. I think uh, EU uh, I think has a lot of trust in us. 
they're very happy with the way we utilize the money, the efficiency with which we uh, capitalize on the little support that we get. That is uh, what's being reflected all through during my visit now as well as when the team came to Kimpo. And uh, uh, I'm very comfortable uh, to quote that, uh, that the relation is very unconditional. I personally found it very encouraging for a gigantic organization like the EU to recognize the vloggers and storytellers to be the messengers and not just messengers to to be the new platform where such organizations can look at to partner with to tell these stories to take on this kind of project um, at this scale and uh, this is one thing I've constantly been trying to share through the work that I do, that everyone has a story to tell and everyone has the potential to tell their stories. Use um, storytelling through video, vlogging as an opportunity, as a platform to tell your story and the stories of your community, your country. So I personally felt so encouraged and motivated and not just through what EU shared with us, but even by meeting the other vloggers from Romania or Sweden or Poland or Namibia to be surrounded by such amazing talent who are writers, who are videographers, who are photographers, who are interesting storytellers. It was such an, an inspiring time for me personally. I've been quite blessed with this opportunity because when I started um, the travel videos through Ye Getaway or you know, the videos that I do through Yiwong, I didn't really think that it had the potential to, to, to go outside. You, you know what I mean? I really didn't expect that this would actually take me to a platform that could help me not just learn so much more, but also be encouraged and motivated to such an extent that I'm feeling quite, I'm getting comfortable now doing this, you know, because I haven't really done this. I'm not a vlogger per se but I think this is such a powerful medium where I can not just tell stories through Yi Wong and through Yi Getaway or Jime but also be in a position to help local communities tell their stories. You have the potential to tell your story and all it takes is a little bit of that push to really do your first video. Um, I remember I was sharing that with the other vloggers who were there a lot of them admitted that they were sweating the first time they put up their first video because they were so they were so scared about what other people might think about their work. Turns out, half of them didn't even care that you put up a video, and half of them quite liked it. So, if this is anything like any bit inspiring to you all, I just want to say that I think there is a future and there is this opportunity out there that is that is really going to recognize the kind of work that you put in and uh, yeah I'm quite excited to see what more is out there and definitely excited for Bhutan 2020